Hello and welcome to the calculator guy video on how to quickly find the nth term of a quadratic sequence using the regression feature. I've previously done a video showing you how you can use the simultaneous equation solver from the Casio Classwiz to quickly find the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Well there is another method that we can use to find the nth term of a quadratic sequence this time using the regression feature, which is on the ClassWiz as well as many other calculators. But before we start, I'm going to give you the same warning as I did in that previous video, that the method I'm going to show you may not give all or any of the marks in the examination, depending on the criteria laid out in the mark scheme. But once again, it is a good checking method and a good way of being able to find out the nth term of a quadratic sequence outside of an exam situation. So we're given the first four terms of a quadratic sequence, 9, 17, 29 and 45, and we've got to find the nth term of this particular quadratic sequence. So once again, this is a little bit of a hack method, as we're going to be using the regression feature from the statistics mode on the ClassWiz to help us out with this. If we go to menu and then statistics, and this time we want the third option down, you can see it's laid out with the components of a quadratic equation. Y equals A plus BX plus CX squared. We must have an X squared term there for it to be a quadratic equation sequence, whatever we're looking for. So we're going to press three and we've got two columns here. Now in the X column, what we're going to do is the X is going to represent our N values. So essentially we have the first term, the second term, third term, fourth term and so on. Now we need to do at least three terms. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do three terms and then we're just going to check that with the fourth term that we're given. I'm going to use table mode to check it out and check that we get the same terms. So I'm just going to order these one, two and three for first term, second term, third term. And Y is going to represent the terms in the sequence themselves. So in this case, we've got 9 which is the first term, 17 which is the second term and 29 which is the third term. Okay so once they're submitted you need to press option and then 4 here for regression calculation and you can see here that we've got A, B and C values uh, that we have and that represents the coefficients that go in front of the three terms that we have. Now we need to do basically two slight changes here, we're going to write them Essentially, the other way to what they're presented here, we're going to start with the x squared term, then the x term, and then the number or the constant on the end. Um, so we need to be careful about assigning the right result to the different terms that we have. And also, we're going to write n rather than x. Remember from the table that x represented our n values from our sequence. So if we write out what we've got starting with x squared, well, that would be n squared, and c is 2, so it's 2n squared then it would be b is 2, so it's 2n plus, and then the constant on the end there, a is 5. So 2n squared plus 2n plus 5, that's going to be the nth term of our quadratic sequence. Now what we're going to do is to use table mode to test that that is correct. Remember, table mode operates as a function of x, so again, we're going to have to swap back and substitute in our n for x this time. So in table mode, let's just go to menu and table, and we want a function of x, this time we're just going to replicate our nth term, but using x rather than n, so 2x squared plus 2x plus 5. If you just have single table mode, it will just take you through to the next stage at this point. If you've got dual table mode activated like I have, just press equals, we don't have uh, a second function to put through here. And it's up to you where you want to start, I would definitely recommend starting at 1. I'm just going to keep this as default, it'll basically generate the first five terms of our sequence for us. As n will always be an integer, we always want the step to be uh, 1 or at least an integer value, but one is, is probably best. So if we press equals, and what we should see is that obviously X represents our N values, the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, the fifth term will just be off screen there. And the FX will represent the terms in our sequence. So we can see that we've got nine, 17, 29, and we've got a fourth term there, 45. They are what we were given in the question. If we scroll down, we can continue the sequence to 65. And obviously if we'd put other X values in there, we can continue the sequence along on that if we wish to find out any later terms. 
So there we go, how to find out the nth term of a quadratic sequence using the regression feature. It's quite a quick method, probably even quicker than the simultaneous equation solver method. However, do remember that it is a little bit of a hack, so therefore you just got to be careful if you're in an exam situation, make sure you put all your full working out and perhaps just use this method as a check that you've got the right result on there. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.